Okay, well guys, I spent the, uh, yesterday pulling it apart and uh, cleaning up all the um, the rust, apparently. Uh, I never kept it out in the rain, and I never rode it in the rain, so I'm not too sure why it had rust as bad as it did. But um, the actual stator itself had so much rust that some of the um, laminate was starting to separate, which is bad. So I had to resurface that yesterday, I spent most of the day doing that sanding it and straightening it out and then I put a formal coating on just to, to keep it from rusting up again um, it's not too bad um, for the first time I when I first bought it I, I damaged the phase wires so you can see I've spliced into it before and uh, the stator was a little bit lighter than this so it has uh, darkened quite a bit um, but it's, as you can see in the slots it's not uh, black which is good so it means it's not overheating to the point where it's cooking. It's just it got a nice. It's just baking the laminate, the um, enamel, just enough that it's all around. It's it's good. You can smell it. It does have a smell to it. So uh, it's it, I managed to save it. So anyway, what I'm doing is I um, pulled all the phase wires out and noticed some problems that I got to address, like that right there. There's a bare phase wire right there. It's been rubbing against the case. I can save myself a blown controller there. Um, these are the fans I'm going to be using. Four of these. Like that. And then just glue them right in. Uh, probably one there, one there. Uh, we'll figure it out. There's going to be four of them anyway, or three. Doesn't really matter. Um, what am I going to do now? What I'm going to do now is we're going to need room for more wire, obviously. So, what we're going to do is we're going to find a drill bit that just barely fits and then we'll ream it out right to the bottom there and then we'll take another step up do it again until we open it up and then what we'll do is we'll take a drill bit and we'll drill on the side here and open this whole slot up here to allow thicker wire through and it'll be easier for rewiring it uh, what I'm going to do is basically wire all the fans together and then uh, run them up through the, um, the shaft and just have that, that 12 volt lead going in and then I'll run um, another wire for the thermostat yeah so. like if I could put the, if I could fit this board in here I would but uh, that's not gonna work so we'll leave the board out <laughs> so let's uh, I'm gonna start reaming it out and uh, prepping it for fans I uh, rimmed it out pretty good. I used a, from what I can read, as a 5 16th. It uh, got in there pretty good. As you can see, it's opened it right up. But not enough that it's going to weaken it any. But uh, we can get some good wiring down in there. And then I opened up the side, as you can see. It didn't go above to the lip there. But uh, it's good enough. Clean up all the shavings, and then uh, we start rooting some wire through. I glued the fans in, just waiting for them to set. And then we have to um, fix all the leads. Some of the leads are coming off. Those two came off. These ones are getting there. So fix those up. And then we'll wire it together. Okay, well, you cannot get more, more wire down there. That is tight. Tight enough. Um, I got the phase wires. I'll have to tube them up. There's your fan wire. Put a connector on that phase wires are through but it is tight there's not going to be enough room for a um, thermostat or uh, the detector so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it so when the bike turns on it runs off my regulator and these will just turn on automatically because they're going to get hot either way because this thing almost runs at 90 volts so and it's a 36 volt so we'll run it that way this these won't use much energy I don't think I can switch it or whatever but I say the thermostat is out. Unless I can find a way of putting it on the outside of the casing, maybe. And other than that, or some, let me drill a hole in the casing and just have it sitting inside, so it gets the ambient temperature. But there's gonna be there's gonna be holes all the way around it, so I don't think the heat is gonna really build up inside. This is just gonna help shoot up the holes. So we'll just have them run constantly. Uh, what's left to do now is strip this, heat shrink everything fix up these fans uh, I gotta get the other plate off clean out all this metal shavings vacuum it out 
Uh, and then I gotta get this other plate off so I can drill the holes out. So, the wiring is done anyway. Well, most of it. So we'll go from there. Okay, well, we'll leave it like that for now, guys. We'll make a uh, part three. Um, I got a lot of wiring to do, as well as configuring a few things. Um, and it's raining out, so I'm not going to be able to do any tests today. But we'll, uh, we'll actually do a paper test. Once it's wired up and I get the fans to fire up, uh, we'll put the motor together and spin the wheel and see if it uh, through, shoots air through the holes. I tried to line the holes up as best I could with the fans. And the fans are over these holes here. So I'll be pulling air through this plate, through the hole, and out the other side. That's the plan anyway. So we'll see how it works out. But uh, that's how far I got. Like I said, there was more work than I wanted to do on it with the um, the rust that had built up on the stator, which was pretty bad. Um, this is the stuff, the wiring I used to manage to get through there, and it's tight. Uh, this is actually motor wire. It's um, rated for 200 Celsius, and it's fire flame proof, so we're good there. So I'll leave it at that. Um, I'll make a part three, and we'll uh, do some tests.